There are two sides to Mark Gilbert. He comes and goes from court in the outfit of a jail inmate. But in his handcuffed arms behind his back is the briefcase of a lawyer. Gilbert has chosen to act as his own attorney. I'm asking for the, uh, uh, both the copies of the hard drives as well as the, uh, the uh, uh, copies of the videotapes to be released. Gilbert is accused of luring young boys to his Lake Taps home, raping them and videotaping it all. And now he's able to see those videos inside the jail. We're talking about boxes of videotapes, more than 100 DVDs, about 28 hours of pornography. Some of it, the very same material he's accused of making. Oh, make no mistake, I don't like it. But it is not my choice whether to do it or not to do it. It's no question that I don't like it. It's no question that this uh, makes me grind my teeth. But the sheriff says the state Supreme Court ruled that defense attorneys have the right to see all of the evidence against their client, including child pornography. And since Gilbert is his own attorney, he gets total access to it. If not, there's the risk of a mistrial. We want to facilitate this, even though we don't like it and don't think it's a good idea. So he can just sit there and watch pornography all day? Yes, sir. There are some precautions taken to the jail to make sure the rest of the inmates aren't able to see what Gilbert and his private investigator are looking at. They're both taken to a private interview room where they can watch for as long as they want. Child advocates say the fact that these videos are being viewed again, especially by the alleged perpetrator, just victimizes them all over again. We don't like it, we don't want to do it, but we have to follow the law. So the fix here is to change the law.